Donna Fasano and Deborah Perry Rogers met at IVF New York, a fertility clinic on Central Park South. Both women were in their 30s and pursuing treatments in the quest to become mothers. They forged a simple friendship and often spoke about their shared plight. Then Donna became pregnant. Despite nausea, fatigue, and an assortment of new aches and pains, Donna was overjoyed. In December 1998, Donna Fasano delivered two healthy twin boys, whom she named Vincent and Joseph. Vincent was white like his parents. Joseph, however, was black. Apparently, the fertility clinic had made an error while preparing the embryos for implantation. Vincent was indeed the child of the Fasanos, but Joseph was born from an embryo belonging to Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. Still, Donna had nurtured Joseph for nine months within her womb. She was the one who had given birth to Joseph. She considered him her baby and had every intention of raising him herself. Deborah Perry Rogers felt differently. This was her genetic child, and she demanded that Joseph be handed over into her care so he could rejoin his true family. Two mothers laying claim to a single child. It would take the wisdom of a Solomon to untangle this quagmire. How does the possibility of error affect Judaism's view of modern reproductive technologies? We'll explore this more in Lesson 4 of Medicine and Morals.